Good afternoon, everybody. Meteorologist Carson Vickroy here. The one camera that's working, well, you guessed it. That's down at the west entrance of Yellowstone National Park in West Yellowstone. And you can see there's nothing falling out there right now. The clouds are certainly in place, but that pavement is dry, and we're not really seeing any rain or snow to speak of across the area and it's another warm one today temperatures are in the 30s and 40s across the region which is why flood highlights yeah they're out for central and northeastern montana watches advisories warnings the whole shebang does not include any area of southwest montana but that could change because i do have more 40s and 50s in the forecast this week now satellite and radar you're probably wondering where all that rain and snow is right because i promised it yesterday well it's still all in idaho but it will be pushing to the northeast over the next several hours you can already see around West Yellowstone, not falling in West Yellowstone yet. We do have some flurries around. And that coverage, it certainly could increase over the next several hours. This is just before 9 o'clock tonight. You can see a widespread coverage over the Gallatin Range and then also to the west of Interstate 15. We go a couple more hours in time. That's when, Bozeman, you guys could start getting into this. Um, it will be cold enough by then for the atmosphere to support all snow for the area and we could be dealing with a few flurries for your uh, morning commute and then by tomorrow afternoon even the clouds are going to clear out of the area we could have some partly cloudy skies for beaverhead and madison county and those clouds could start to increase by tuesday morning but otherwise snow accumulations they're going to be light just keep an eye out just in case there are some icy patches tomorrow morning we'll keep you updated and i'll have your full forecast at 5:30 and 10.